That's fine. That's fine. That's that's kind of the way this is. I don't expect you to make completely finished pieces today. That takes a long time to refine things. Most of us has, have heard similar stories regarding these clovers, and if you're anything like me, then once upon a time, you may have sat in the grass, searching with high hopes, for one of these fantastical little plants. And as time goes on, and you mature, you come to accept that you are never likely to actually find one among the countless patches of mundane clovers. Think about that for a moment. Have you ever heard a more fitting metaphor for life? And that one person we all search for, who for us would represent a love so profound as to seem almost supernatural. And if you're anything like me, you have spent many seasons searching with doubtful spirits for that one fantastical person. But as time goes on, and with your heart aching from the breaks it has suffered, you come to realize that the odds of finding that one love among the multitudes of mundane lusts are at best no better than finding that that four-leaf clover. We all know such a thing exists, but seriously, what are the odds? That was pretty good. Uh, yeah, I really liked how... Uh, that, that was an awesome metaphor. Yeah. It was less about that tattoo than it was about what they represent. Yeah, yeah. Really. and the reasons why you get tattoos. Mm. You know. I see. The two, I don't know, see, he did a literal... Um, clover and then a figurative heart you two did the literal tattoos yeah, except you had it on two different people yeah. and then you had it on the one person no, did you okay well, they, but, but you had the heart and the yeah. thing on the one person so perfect example of how this can go anywhere but yeah. great idea generation I really liked your narrator Dean, Dean? of if you're anything like me, if you're anything like me, you know, I, it, like interesting characters have like tropes that they go back to, little things that, that, that make them unique, and that's what I was thinking, it was like, that's an interesting way to develop a, an interesting character, is to have that, like, that you're, you're doing the narrating, but you're talking, you're like, oh, if you're anything like me, and then I, I was like, okay, that's cool, and you did it like twice and three times, and I was like, oh, that's kind of awesome, like the way you... It's repetition to keep the story together. That's how the character would say it, too. Mm -hmm. I like that, too. You know? um, so, that's really cool. Critique, I would say, the ending, maybe just a few more words. It comes a bit abruptly, I think. So, more... Just expand it. Maybe another sentence might be all it needs. I think it's a bit like a, I ran out of ideas, I'm done. That's it. it but I think maybe another sentence. It, I think it should end exactly the way you did it. I just think it might need another sentence to bring you a little closer there instead of just dropping you off a cliff. I was thinking somewhere along, along the lines of either go in the one direction where he says, uh, you know, I, I found a, a four-leaf clover once. And Explain the girl. Yeah, let, let, just leave it there. I found, once I found a four-leaf clover and leave it on that note of maybe he found love or maybe it really is not that difficult. Maybe he can't find it. Or setting it up that, um, even if you found a four-leaf clover, do you think it would give you that supernatural luck you were hoping for? So, I mean, he's on the right track. I mean, I said the ending was a bit abrupt, but it sounds like he's already trying to think of that anyways. Yeah. So, that's good. Um, I think we need to make that thing a trash can for today. Yeah. Um, anyone, any other critique ideas in anyone's pieces? Any improvements anyone can do. Obviously, you still need to continue with yours. Yeah, it's still, it's just a, um, just got it down a little bit. Actually, I have, a, I have a finished piece that I kind of want to share and see if anyone can um, help edit it. All right, give me just a second because I wanted to say something. I might say in your story on the transgression about her heart, is that going to bleed into this love affair with this guy is the transgression, and maybe that heart comes to represent this... Oh, because she's just a so snobby she's, bitch? Because she's just a snobby bitch. And, 
and just have her deal with her utter humiliation of her own being. Well, see, I, I kind of want that tattoo to come back, her tattoo to come back again to have some kind of a deep relevance to the end of the story, you know? Oh, maybe she gets a bleeding heart tattoo because she thinks they're all... Oh, well, she got this before she met this guy, obviously. So she has a reputation of... Or she falls for this guy, he turns her down, and this heart comes to always she thinks of... Or she gets it augmented because of this idiot. Okay, there you go. Maybe she puts a four-leaf clover in it. Right, or puts a crack down at the center of the heart and blood drops, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's a fact. Just ideas. Um... I don't know where to go with Jason's. I got nothing. Um, wow. it, it, it's a short story. There's not much more you can really add to it without fucking it up. Yeah. And then make it part of something else, maybe. Yeah. Um, it's a great scene. And you know what? It's kind of fine just the way it is. I would, no, you know what I would do? Um, just on an editorial stance, I would read it over a few more times and maybe change a bit of the language. Um, but that's it. It just needs polished. That's it. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's I out there. If anybody wants to take and use it, you know, go for it. Um, I would suggest typing it so we can put it on the group online and all that jazz. Uh, yeah, because nobody's going to be able to read my writing. No. Yeah, I think you couldn't even read your writing at one point. <laughs> I know. I like, well, is that what I put? So yeah, just get it out there, but um, if you want people to be able to steal it, throw it on the open source ideas page or something. So, I mean, because most of us have that respect that if you put something out with your name on it, we're not going to steal it. Yeah, look at that. Well, I'll put it on the that I to use.